Yesterday I reported that some streamers, who were recently permanently banned via an exploit have now been unbanned. The exploit has now been confirmed by Activision as factual, and it has since been patched by Ricochet. They have stated all users that have been affected by the exploit have now been unbanned. They have stated it was a small number, however it is actually around tens of thousands. This includes legit players and also cheaters. I want to be clear on this though, players were only unbanned due to it being a confirmed exploit and not because they are not cheating. Call of Shame have never once stated that the players that were unbanned are not cheating, that's just misinformation being spread. And I want to stamp that nonsense out. The only streamers that have been unbanned are the following names. Again, it doesn't mean they are not cheating, so stop believing misinformation. It only means they were unbanned because they were caught up in the exploit. Modern Warzone has tried to go back years, in an attempt to have high-profile streamers unbanned even before the exploit. This is why I constantly call out this fake news channel for protecting cheaters. In fact, Modern Warzone lies so much, he was caught trying to discredit X Defiant by spreading lies in an attempt to promote Call of Duty, and was corrected by the community notes on Twitter. The lead producer of X Defiant Mark Rubin, who was the former executive producer for Infinity War during the Golden Years, had to come out and debunk these lies, all because streamers wanted impressions. He then attacked the community notes, even though he was caught lying. Absolute clown behavior. He lies about everything, including trying to twist the exploit to favor the cheating streamers that have been banned years ago. This shill, much like the streamers, live inside the pocket of Activision, as he accepts his latest free bribe. Getting back to the exploit, this has only been going on since March this year, and only a handful of streamers were affected by it, and all this happened within the last 14 days. This exploit has proven one thing, streamers like BAMS, Nadia, 5x5, Nixta, and other permanently banned streamers I have covered on this channel have not been unbanned, and remain permanently banned for using cheat software. Proving that they were in fact cheating after all, Ricochet have a nightmare ahead of them as they attempt to recover from this exploit. The streamers took to Twitter to cancel Ricochet, and were asking for another anti-cheat. These streamers are just completely clueless. But while they were crying for Battleye, a similar exploit is also being used right now on Battleye, that allows hackers to remotely ban anyone they want. So it's not just Ricochet, other anti-cheats are also being affected. So it doesn't matter what anti-cheat is in play, there are always ways to exploit it. This is why we don't even need Ricochet to tell the community who is cheating, and who isn't. Streamers like Jowo are rejoicing on Twitter, that hacker hunters are on the back foot, but fail to understand the bigger picture. This exploit has opened a door that I never thought I would ever see, and it is absolutely fantastic. Since we can't depend on the anti-cheat anymore, we will now focus on actual gameplay. Games and clips will be slowed down, everything will be examined in fine detail. With Black Ops around the corner, we now have the advantage of theater mode to catch these rats using walls. When these streamers attend a LAN, they play absolutely terrible, and it's not just a one-off, it's every time they leave their bedrooms. If you have any suspicious clips of these rats, make sure you report them to me at callofshame.net. I just want to finish this segment on this gross misinformation reported by Expel. Expel is trying to spread misinformation that this exploit has been active since Caldera. Despite the exploit founder stating this is not the case. The worst part is that this could have actually been a day one exploit of Ricochet all the way back in Caldera so we don't know what bands are real and what aren't. Do not believe anything these streamers are spreading, it's false and they are attempting to defend previously permanently banned streamers that were banned in previous titles for using cheat software. If there is one thing to take from this video, this is it. The streamers can no longer hide behind the phrase, if I am cheating then why am I not perma banned? They have already made it clear on social media that nobody can depend on Ricochet anymore. I would be very surprised if Ricochet will ever ban a streamer after this. Evidence will always be presented in the hacker hunting community will now have the final say on who is cheating and who is not. Democracy will prevail. My biggest concern is the competency level of Ricochet. Do they have a method to detect who was affected by the exploit? Or are they going to unban everyone since March?
I am hearing unconfirmed reports that rage hackers have now been unbanned also, and taunting Ricochet. If this is the case, it will be a disaster for this franchise. This news is up to date at the time of making this video, if anything changes, I will update everyone tomorrow on the very latest news. I recently exposed Joe for cheating in Call of Duty Warzone. I exposed him using a method known as 2-boxing. Zero. This is when streamers create Zero. a fake account, with the intention of exploiting the skill-based matchmaking. The streamer will then join this account as it searches for a game. The matchmaking will now place the streamer into a very easy lobby, designed for new players or players with an extremely low skill level. The fake account will now leave the game, leaving the streamer behind, allowing him to cheat. The low IQ streamer will now be able to drop high kills, complete challenges, unlock weapons, and get content normally for a YouTube video or a TikTok. This is clearly against the enforcement policy. It says, any user who colludes with another user to exploit the game for the purpose of gaining XP, prestige, game score, weapon level, or in-game unlock is subject to penalty. We can see it clearly talks about two boxing. This is another user, right here. And these streamers are desperately trying to normalize it by claiming it's okay if you admit well, it. Well, that's stupid. Oh, hey, officer, you're right. I was breaking the speed limit, but hey, I admitted to it. They are all trying to justify it. It's actually weird behavior. Can you imagine being so trash at a game? You're trying to justify the need to play against the Little League to flex your ego. If you didn't boost your stats in the first place, you wouldn't be finding it so difficult to play against other players at the same skill level. Wait, did he just call you Siri? Yes, he still thinks my engine owning exclusive interview was fake. I know the one, I know the one. Like TCAP, I tried two boxing and I broke my PR and I have been having so much fun. And my response is, uh, let's go. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad you're having fun. So if you have an extra console laying around, Go for it. If you're wondering though, can I get in trouble for two boxing? Is this considered cheating? Well, the only thing that Call of Duty states on their website that is somewhat related to this is what's called boosting. The low IQ streamers are now understanding the rules present a problem, as my videos highlighted this clearly. However, they are now mincing words, claiming user means people. Any user who colludes with another user to exploit the game for the purpose of gaining XP, prestige, game score, weapon level, or an in-game unlock is subject to penalty. The statement is generally in relation to people, so plural people, not just one person, helping one another level up, like do camo challenges or even gain- Just stop. Stop it. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, what am I hearing? User means people? This is the most cringest thing I have ever seen to justify cheating. You actually sign up to the user agreement and not the people agreement. You also have a username and not a freaking people name. Absolute cringe.